Okay, so with the latest update, um, I'm going through and updating my mods, and it brings up a uh, important aspect of using Asset Editor that I haven't really touched on, and that is how in the world do I mess with WS models? Now, prior to this update, I haven't had to for any of my mods, so I haven't really touched on it, but um, if you've been paying attention when I make my mods, well, first of all, you can see rigid models here. They're, I mess with the rigid models. And actually, this is going to bring up some other interesting aspects of Asset Editor that I don't really understand why they do this, but they do. So generally speaking, I have these named as Zargard male body 12, 13 in my mods, and like 11 instead of 01. And there's actually a couple of reasons for that. One, it makes sure that I don't overwrite other people's mods. Like I don't mess, uh, essentially, hopefully don't mess with too many people's others mods. Because a lot of times when people make edits to files, what they do is they don't bother changing the names in their mod. Um, and so then it would affect mine. And so just to avoid those issues, I make the changes. So I usually go through and rename them just changing this to like one instead of an O or, you know, change it to two instead of a zero, whatever. So um, if you go back and try and edit your model that you've already kind of messed with, but let's say you want to come back to it later and you haven't changed the name, you'll also see some issues. And my guess, to be honest, is that it's based on the WS models, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, this is just an asset editor thing that I've seen, and I haven't bothered to ask Hero about it. So you see that essentially it's kind of like a level of detail issue maybe or something. I don't know. They tend to have some weird issues. And you'll sometimes see it like the armor will be super dark instead of being the right color, like none of the highlighting was off. That was what used to happen as well. I don't know if it still happens. I'm not seeing it on this model, but anyway, we see this. Why is that? Well, let's first go and rename this to 11. If I rename this, and that's all it's going to take, it's not going to show that issue anymore. So everything is appearing as it should. So it is an important aspect of you know going back and working on your mods to just make sure you've renamed it. Otherwise, you'll see that. OK, so that's one issue. Also, here, if you don't rename it, I'm going to go back to the original name to make sure that that issue is still happening. Again, <laughs> it's super weird. All right, so let's say we want to mess with the WS model. If we pull up our um, variant meshes here, variant models, HU1C, and I'm going to go with the, oh, I'm in props. I'm going to go with armor Kosars. Here's my Zar guard. Now, if I want to open my regiment of renown, let's say two, just to make, uh, make my life a little bit better right now. If I want to open regiment around two WS model, that's the only option. I don't have rigid model or WS models. I have just WS models. And you open it and you just get text. And that's pretty unhelpful. But essentially, this is how you used to have to edit certain things like uh, weights and stuff. It was really a pain. Um, thanks to Asset Editor, we don't have to worry about that anymore. But you used to have to change the text in the WS models. Um, but nowadays, you don't. But you'll notice that the geometry is based on the rigid model of the body 2. So Zargard male body 2 is what the regiment of renown two is based on. And that's usually how it goes. I don't think I've ever seen it not work out that way. So if when in doubt, though, you can always just open the WS model and see what rigid model it's based on. OK, so that means I need to open that one. So rigid model two. Now that it's opened, I'm going to import my WS model that I want to work with that's based on it. So if we go to Zargard, male body, regiment round two, WS model, we will see the proper reskin. So essentially, now all I have to do is right click, make this editable, and I can edit those ones. So uh, these are the original, these are the recolored. Okay. Now, this actually is going to be another thing that 
well, I mean, that's all it does. And you need to edit your WS models, delete the ones that you don't want to work with. Now, I want to also show you if we open the wrong one. So, Zargard. So now, if I open Regimen Around 1, actually, it brings up uh, something that I'm not prepared to deal with at the moment. But actually, OK, this brings up a good point. I, I was just getting ahead of myself, I guess, is that because I have this saved as 01 in my pack file that's open, it imports that pack file. Notice it has the gun. And it's doing that graphical issue that happens when I don't rename this. So as the gun and it's this. So um, that's one issue essentially that happens. But that's not the issue that I want to bring up. But that's another reason why you really need to rename these things. So if I import three instead. You'll see that it takes on this the the body of three it actually will do it just fine so if you want to edit three you could actually import it from any of the other ones that's fine too um so you don't actually have to import the model the original model you can just import a rigid model and then work with it by deleting everything so i usually just do it off of the one that it's originally from but you don't have to it's just something that it's weird it's like you can import ws models but you can't open them this way i don't know why um, but that is just what it is so again going back to um, the other thing that showed up here is that when i want to import my um, anything that uses rigid model one, if I have this saved as rigid model one in my reskins, it's going to pull that one. So it's going to pull the edited one, which might be a good thing for you. But the issue is um, that you get those horrible, like low graphics look of it or whatever. So um, this thing with the cloak or whatever. So um, we don't want that to happen. So instead, we are going to rename this. So make sure that after you've made edit edits to stuff, you just rename them. And we can avoid those issues. So again, this is how we edit our WS models. And it doesn't matter what WS model you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a prop, it works the same way. So the Regiment of Renown swords are going to all be based on WS models that are based on the original rigid model. So if I want to open them, again, I do the same thing. I open the rigid model and then the WS model. And that's all it takes. Make sure that when you save it, you just save it as something else. So like the Regiment of Renown. So when I go to save it, I'm not going to overwrite like an original model name that I'm doing here or the O1s or anything like that. Make sure that you've changed them to describe what you're actually dealing with. So, um, but that's it. That's all we need to do to mess with our WS models. Anyway, hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.